Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. So today I'm here to do a candle wax reading for you. Today is a very special day for all light workers like us. Like it's it's like an abundance of beautiful positive energy and very very you know meditative downloads a lot of you know psychic messages coming in today for me as this is this is we called it vesak and this is the buddha purnima and it's a flower full moon so it's a very very special day that i'm recording this video on and i am hoping to receive a lot of beautiful messages for all of you and hence i decided to record this reading this candle wax reading for all of you okay so if you're new to my channel welcome i am parboni and i do psychic readings um i do a lot of tarot readings charm readings and also candle wax readings so this is one of my special candle wax readings that i am going to do for you today so as you see we have two piles here pile number one is this bowl with the purple candle and pile number two is this bowl with the blue candle you can take your time see which your intuition is calling uh, you to and you can pick the pile accordingly okay so the description box will have the timestamps for both of these piles you can listen to both the piles and see what resonates um, and just leave the rest, okay? Or you can listen to just one pile. The choice is all yours. So please listen to your intuition. Don't force anything upon you. Don't force any conclusions. Uh, be open to receiving any guidance that is coming towards you. I don't have a specific topic for this reading. It's general messages, general guidance and divine intervention that is going to happen in this candle wax reading okay so let's begin the reading with pile number one so pile number one whoever have chosen this candle wax reading let me cleanse the energy for you first I hope that was healing for you. Let's begin your reading, pile number one. So pile number one, let's begin your reading. I feel a hurry, hurry energy. It's like they can't wait. Just do it. Okay, there's a lot of It's like um, the universe is trying to tell me that do it fast, do it hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, somebody is desperately waiting for these messages. Let me move it closer to you. Pile number one, something is growing big, okay? Something is growing big. There is, um, I see your spirit guides around you. There is a lot of angelic presence 
uh, around you okay i see birds if you are seeing pigeons around you that's a sign that your guardian angels are near The energy I see is very, very centered. Okay, something is happening in your, uh, in your core. A uh, core belief is going to go stronger. Probably your intuition is going to grow stronger, and you can feel it. File number one. Okay, you are feeling more confident about your intuition. Something is pushing you to start believing something that you had a doubt on. Probably you were doubting your intuition and, uh, you know, you are getting instances where your intuition is getting proved correct. And that is leading you to believe your intuition, trust your intuition. It's growing stronger and stronger with each passing day. Um right after you come across this video okay pile number one your third eye chakra is getting very very strong and active it's blooming i see that your third eye chakra is blooming like a flower okay it's beautiful it's like each petal is blooming You have a very strong fire energy. Pile number one, I see the flame like burning so big. The flame is so big in this candle for some reason. And I see that you are very, very strong built person. Your courage is specifically very, very strong in the upcoming few days. You are very, very determined to, you know, take action against something that was holding you back you are in that mode of go 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 that's why probably i felt that urgency uh to go fast in this reading because i see that you are in that energy pile number one you want it fast i for some reason i also see this water is uh you know it's moving there is a there is a lot of energy in you okay you need to you need to channel that energy to create something beautiful because you can't just let it go waste i see uh, a message that i'm channeling is uh, if your energy is on fire better put to use better put to create something with that fire than letting it go waste Okay, pile number one, whatever it means to you. If you are feeling energetic, if you're feeling passionate about something, use it to create something beautiful. This candle is burning off very, very fast. Be aware that... Um, since you are feeling so energetic, you're feeling so highly motivated, stay away from getting burnt out because, you know, a lot of, you know, overworking or over energetic uh, and being over energetic about something can cause to a burnout. And this could lead to a situation where you may start something with a lot of passion and vigor, but may not be able to complete it because you feel burnt out 
Okay, pile number one. So to continue with something that you start, I see that you need to channel this uh, fiery energy that you have in you. Pile number one. Some, for some of you, I see that you are burning burning yourself out in the gym. It's like you are sweating a lot and, you know, doing your best to get back to a shape. To get back uh, to the weight that you want to. To get your health back in place. Okay, you are sweating it out. So that's a very, very good thing that is happening after this full moon for you. I think you are so motivated you were so fueled by something that, uh, you know, you are ready to sweat it out. There is a lot of sweat, toil and labor. Okay, you're putting a lot of energy into something. Pile number one. I would love to know what that is. Let me know in the comment section, what are you working on? What is it that is, uh, you know, fueling your energy? What is making you so passionate? This is beautiful. And this passion, you know, this love, passion and determination is making you grow something so beautifully. You yourself are blooming as a person. You yourself are blooming. This is like a beautiful glow up that is going to happen for you very soon. Pile number one. You are going to be so attractive. You are going to work on your aura in a very beautiful way. And you are going to achieve uh, what you desire. Okay, in every way. Specifically beauty. Oh, why? I know why I'm seeing so much of flower energy. Because it's the flower full moon today. Okay, I understand now. Today's full moon is also called the flower moon. And that's why I see a lot of you, you know, blooming like a flower. If you see a purple flower after this reading, you know this message was for you. There is this glow up that is coming in your life. Okay, and it, 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 it just slipped out of my hands and went down. So that was it, I see. Pile number one. Let me pull up a few tarot cards to see what messages do I have for you here. Just hold on. So pile number one, I have my cards here. Let me push, push this aside for some time. And let's look at some tarot messages here. What does pile number one need to know right now? What messages um, do the angels have for you by number one? Let me pull it up a little more. What messages does the angels have for you by number one? What messages? What is it that you need to know by number one? the hanged one something that was stuck is going to you know work out on its own because you are changing your perspective you are changing the way you feel about a certain thing okay probably you were feeling stuck and you understood that feeling this way is not going to help you anymore the only way to create a change in your life is to bring a shift okay bring a shift and that shift you can bring in while um, creating a change from within creating a change by how you look at certain things queen of pentacles taking care of yourself that's why i feel that a lot of you are spending a lot of time working out in the gym um, probably for some i see that if you are stuck in a difficult financial situation i feel that you are taking the time 
you are shifting your focus from your finances to your body okay your finances is a reflection of your body it's a material thing and if you uh try if you are trying to shift create a shift in your finances and start focusing on your physical health your physical body start improving your physical body you will see immense amount of growth and prosperity in your financial situation okay your body is a replication of your financial status so i see that if you work on your body you are um subconsciously creating a lot of abundance for yourself and that is what i see that you are focusing on okay you are focusing on uh building your strength your tenacity and page of wands yes you are very very energetic you are very enthusiastic about this journey of yours because you have understood that you know being hanging in a in a situation and not having any control over a situation that you want to change is not the energy that you want to be in you want to take charge and want to you know create some kind of change that is within your reach if you cannot shift your energy in your finances the least you can do is take care of your health take care of your uh physical body and build the strength that you're looking for okay and moving on this journey is going to work for you because the moment you start focusing on your health your body your uh you know physical self i see that you will start attracting a lot of money a lot of finances you will start feeling the luxury around you you will attract luxury you will attract prosperity and abundance and that is the glow up is all about that is what the globe is all about for you this full moon by number 1 okay let me look at your candy wax now by number 1 let me look at your candle wax okay let me just pile number 1 wow this is so beautiful look at that i see a woman you know i see a very strong feminine energy here i see a woman with luscious hair probably you're taking care of your hair your your hair sorry uh you know you see this here right here i see that a woman is um taking care of your hair and um you have luscious long healthy beautiful hair i see i also see a beautiful dress probably some of you are going to buy yourself a purple dress okay this i see this it's a sleeveless dress a sleeveless gown or something or you're wearing it for some occasion there's a lot of angelic energy for sure beautiful uh very delicate feminine angelic energy in your aura pile number 2 what else do i see here I see a baby suckling on to the mother. So probably a lot of you are giving birth to a new life this full moon or right after this full moon. There is a lot about femininity in this pile, okay? Pile number 1, whoever have chosen pile number 1, there is a lot of glow 
around you a lot of feminine glow around you 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 have a lot of nurturing energy you have you have that energy of nurturing someone you have that energy of being very soft and you know healing energies you have the potential to heal someone to nurture someone with your love with your delicate love okay so that is what i see for you here pile number 1 For some reason i see rabbits also you know you see this here there's a rabbit here and rabbits is a sign of uh, fertility so if you're trying for a child if you're trying to conceive i see that is happening because you're taking care of your health you're taking care of your body you're nurturing your body by number 1 I also feel a lot of unicorn energy around you. Okay, a lot of magical unicorn energy for some reason. If you relate to this, let me know in the comment section. File number 1, I would love to read your comments. Okay, so that's that is that is it that I have for you today. I hope this was helpful and if it was, let me know in the comment section. I would love to know your feedback on this reading. and let's move to pile number 2 for two whoever chose the blue candle let's look at you before that let me cleanse your energy first that was helpful in calming you down by number 2 let's look at your candle wax reading pile number 2 let move let's move this a little closer so you can have a clear look at this I see a heart. Do you have any issues with your heart health? File number two. You have a very big heart. File number two. You have a very very generous heart. You are um, someone who never thinks twice before giving someone anyone uh, anything. Okay. you have a very very big heart pile number 1 oh uh, sorry pile number 2 you see this heart here
if you have any health issues with your heart, I would recommend you to get it checked by a, an expert. For others, this is just um, a validation that you are someone who is very generous and the universe is going to give you back because of your generosity because you are very generous the universe is going to be very very generous with you you are a pure soul okay you are very transparent you are someone who is uh you know what is in your heart is on your in on your on your lips you don't forge your words you don't forge your communication you are clear in what you say you say what you feel and you feel what you say okay you just don't say anything just for the sake of uh, a conversation okay if you are in a conversation i see that you feel the energy you are someone who feels a lot you are very very empathetic you are someone who has very strong empathy for people okay Pile number two, you need to protect your energy because, um, you know, a lot of people might cling on to this energy just because you have that feeling of comfort, because you're so giving. I see that a lot of people, a lot of energies cling on to you like parasites. Okay, and that makes you feel claustrophobic, that makes you feel stuck, that makes you feel that you can't breathe. Probably in your relationships, you are someone who is very giving and, uh, you know, people cling to you just because of this fact. You need to be very mindful of how much you give and also protect your aura because uh, unnecessarily I see that people clinging on to you like parasites, okay? And parasites drain your energy, okay? What parasites do is feed on your blood and drain away the nutrition that you have probably you are doing a lot of energy work you're doing a lot of healing work on yourself but you don't feel that energy you don't feel healed because people are clinging on to you you have um, unknown cords connected with these people around you who are feeding upon your energy they are like vampire energies and that's why you don't feel the energy work that you do. I see that the moment you have a clear intention that your energy is yours, without your permission, no, no, nobody can you know, feed upon your energy. You will start creating this boundary around you and you will negate this effect of people clinging on to you for no reason. Okay? you will create that shield around you. Pile number two, your energy is very, very calming. Very, very calming energies. And that's why people are constantly uh, trying to be near you. Let me see if I can take this a little more closer. Pile number two, you need to get, you need to hydrate yourself. I see a lot of water energy that needs, um, that needs to get into your body for some reason. Um, why? Because, you know, water is going to nourish your soul. 
you need to make sure that you're hydrated. I see two people cuddling uh, right here, you know, two people cuddling here. I see a lot of love energy. There's someone around you who's very strong and that person is going to protect you. Someone is going to tell you uh, that they are going to be by your side and protect you. Very soon. I don't know who is this person, but someone is taking the responsibility to protect you, to be by your side. Okay, and this person is someone who has a strong physique. This person has a muscular or athletic body, very strong. Okay, I'm talking about a man here. This is a masculine energy who is taking responsibility for you. Giving you an assurance that they will protect you. There's a lot of love energy. There's a lot of love making. I see that your romantic life is going to bloom. Pile number two. Whoever is uh, listening to this reading, your romantic life is going to bloom because I see someone around you. There's a lot of cuddling. There's a lot of romantic energy. There's a lot of intimate energy happening here. Okay. I see a dream getting fulfilled. Pile number two, a dream is coming true for you very soon. Right after this, after this full moon. Your heart's desire is going to come true. Whatever is your true heart's desire. And I see angels making it happen for you. I see a lot of angelic energy. If you connect with the energy of angelite, the crystal, angelite is a crystal, so I, I don't know if you have it with you or any kind of blue, light blue crystal. I see that uh, this crystal is helping you manifest this dream, this, um, this wish that you're desiring. And uh, this message is specifically for those who already have this crystal with them. You don't have to go buy this crystal right after listening to this reading because I just said so. This is, I want to clarify that this message is for those who already have a blue crystal with them. A light blue, a baby blue crystal. That crystal is helping you manifest a dream desire for you. I see the energy of owl here. So pile number two, your spirit animal is an owl. Uh, so if you see owls a lot around you in any form or shape, could be in pictures or in as statues or decorative elements, um, understand that your spirit guides are reaching out to you. They are blessing you. They want to... Uh, the moment you see an owl around you, understand, know that you are being protected by your spirit guides. Okay? From this full moon to this new moon, okay? Uh, the full moon to the next new moon is a journey of 15 days. 
and I see that a whole new a uh, lot of changes are happening in your life for the good, for the betterment. Okay, pile number two. So uh, this time period, right from today, this full moon to the next new moon that is happening from whenever you're watching this video, it's going to be very, very transformative for you, pile number two. There is a lot of balance in your aura. Like pile number one, I felt that energy of go, go, go. A lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, fast, fast energy. Here, there's a lot of balanced. Okay. Uh, there, is no, uh, there is no hurry. It's very calming. It's very soothing. Your energy is very calming. Okay. Also, there's a lot of cooling energy. There's a lot of cooling vibes around you. It's like... Like pile number one, I would say it's hot. Pile number two is cool. Very pleasant. Cooling, calming, healing is the energy. You are being protected by your angels, your spirit guides. Okay, by number two, I see that uh, your angels are making sure that your fire doesn't go low. No matter what difficulties you face, no matter what uh, troubles you face, you will always be protected by your guardian angels, your spirit guides. Your guardian angels will never let your fire extinguish. Let me look at your um, tarot cards. I just dropped the candle on the water and it is still burning. And that is telling me that Archangel Michael is protecting your light, pile number two. You are a light worker for sure. I have no doubts that you have the potential to become a light worker if you haven't yet realized it. Okay. Your glow is very strong. Your flame is very strong. It's slow and steady. Calming, healing and very, very stable. And there it goes. Beautiful pile number two. See, it's not yet extinguished. You have a very strong tenacity, pile number two. You have a very, very strong uh, aura. This candle just doesn't want to extinguish. It has touched water. Can you see that? It has touched water, but it is not extinguishing. The wick is on the water. This is crazy. 
pile number two. It's, it's becoming stronger now. I see that um, if you have doubts on your, your healing capabilities, please don't because I see that you have the power to transform any difficult situation into light because you're blessed divinely. There is something else working upon you. There is our, there are different, there are other external factors, other uh, factors from the other realm, angelic, okay, other beings. There are a lot of other beings who are around you. You may not know who it is or who they are, but there is a presence of otherworldly beings around you who are guarding you. Who are protecting you because you belong to their tribe you belong to a tribe of angelic beings you belong to a tribe of beautiful delicate beings who has taken birth on this planet earth at this given point of time with a strong life purpose to spread the light that you hold within specifically yourself you yourself may be dealing with a lot of difficulties but in spite of that you have the light to guide someone else okay pile number two you may question yourself that why am i leading such a difficult life if i have the power to bring bring about change do not question yourself because you yourself have the power to sail across any difficulty because you are being protected, you are being guided, you are being shown the path. You know how to navigate through the path because you are learning in the process of navigating through your problems you are gaining more strength in the process of fighting your shortcomings. You are gaining more brownie points by the universe because you are proving your strength over and about again. Okay? So do not underestimate your strength. Do not question your your uh, you know your life pub, your life path of struggle do not question why uh, you have difficulty manifesting certain uh, certain thing that you desire probably you're trying to manifest abundance and you are um, you feel at lack and you are questioning your ability do not because in this difficult part of manifesting what you desire, manifesting abundance or love, whatever may it be, you are gaining immense amount of knowledge and immense amount of strength to put together yourself and be an inspiration for others. Your light is growing strong and brighter because... Uh, the way you stand for yourself, the way you uh, fight your battles, the way you uh, don't let yourself down, no matter how difficult things are, the universe is blessing you with more and more power. Okay. So pile number two, this is miraculous. This candle is just not ready to extinguish. So let it take let it take its own time. And by the time it, it extinguishes, let me look at your tarot cards for now. Okay. Let me push it a little more towards the side so I get some space. Okay. So pile number two, what is it that you need to know? What guidance is coming your way through this reading? What 
what guidance is coming your way through this reading pile number two what is the guidance that is coming to you pile number two what do you need to know knight of wands you are advised to be on the go your fire is not going to extinguish even when you catch speed okay you see this woman skating so fast on this roller skates and still the fire is there okay the fire hasn't extinguished and this is a validation with this candle here okay you may be approaching something with a lot of speed with a lot of vigor with a lot of courage but still you are not going to burn out you still you will carry on with your passion because it's meant to be like that it is meant to be that way okay the universe will not let your passion burn down you do not get exhausted pile number 2 the hanged man i see there is a a link between pile 1 and pile 2 so probably you're listening to both these piles and trying to understand um what is it that you need to know at this moment and i see that pile number 2 nothing can stop you you are unstoppable nothing can bind you nothing can um extinguish your fire you are unstoppable pile number 2 seven of swords i see that the universe is asking you to keep your work a secret whatever you are doing do not um bring it into light do not uh expose what you're doing unless your goals are achieved keep it a secret how a bird protects its eggs how a bird is constantly um you know nurturing the nest and creating and keeping it a secret hidden from the world and how the crow you know you see this image in this image the crow gathers so many different things from uh from its uh, adventures and you know starts collecting different objects in its nest i see that you are a collection of small things that you pick up from here and there okay your energy is a bundle of different small small things that uh the you know small different things combine and create your energy so you are a mix of very very uh quite a lot of different things probably you are someone who is good at art someone who is good at painting also someone who is good at writing also someone who is, has a very sharp intelligent mind someone and you also have skills of uh speaking in public uh you have a hold on your language and you're also very good in stitching so you are multi talented pile number 2 okay and that's why you are like on the go all the time nothing can stop you because if one part of your life is not working in working uh, uh working for working out for you you have immediately something else to focus on okay nothing is keeping you stuck no matter what happens in your life what creates an obstacle in your life your fire will never stop because you always have something else to pick up and work on it you have a treasury of skills you have a treasure of hidden skills your talents are a bundle of hidden things that you have within you probably you haven't even realized what all skills you have okay you are a bundle of hidden talents pile number 2 clearly and that's why your fire doesn't extinguish 
okay that was the message that was the topic of your reading and now everything comes into clarity why your candle was not extinguishing and now that i've reached the conclusion the candle is extinguished because it it validates that yes this is what i wanted to say okay so pile number two very very beautiful energy i appreciate what you do you are a very very talented person let me know in the comment section if you relate to what i just said and let's look at your candle wax for now pile number two you have a halo around you you see this transparent uh, white thing let me focus yeah you see this i see this head and a heart okay you have this halo around you you have an angelic aura pile number two there are a lot of butterflies there's a lot of angelic energy there is i see butterflies here you see this this is a butterfly wing and you have a halo around you I see two people looking at a child here. You see this? Two people looking at a child. Probably you are, as a couple, you are going to give birth to a child. Okay? I see growing your family, pile number two. I see a little baby coming into your life. There's a lot of new birth energy. There's a lot of love in your aura, pile number two. You're a very, very loving, kind, gentle soul. Very generous, very kind, very soft and delicate soul, pile number two. I love your energy. Let me know in the comment section if you relate to this reading. And I would love to read your comments, pile number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and i upload videos every single day so make sure if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button so that you get notified every time i post a new video okay so i will see you tomorrow in a different reading and till then take care bye bye